Is this good? Yeah, really good. You've not left me much, have you? You have the rest of the <laughs> That's my first game. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you talk so much. <laughs> I'm just laughing because, like, this, you weren't looking that excited about. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just keeping it on the lowdown. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with a box of delicious goodies. Yeah, this one's from America and it's stuff we haven't seen a lot of before. I know, this is super exciting. This is actually part one of two. Katie has sent us a massive box, so we had to split it up. Yeah. And part two is full of crisps and beer. Yeah. So I know you're gonna be super excited about that. Yeah, so hit the subscribe button if you wanna see that yeah, coming soon. Yeah, don't wanna miss out. Okay, shall we start with the letter? Yeah, let's. Okay, I'm excited because we've got some photos in here. Yeah. Always nice Not to see who sends, sends us photos. a box. Yeah. Here is Katie. Oh, and a dog. How lovely. Uh, How nice is that? So this was from their uh, Christmas card. They included one of their cards. So we've got Katie, Joseph, Pearl and Jax. Oh, I didn't see the little one in there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> How lovely. And a big boy. Big boy and a little girl. So, oh, look at this. Oh, that's so nice. I love the yellow dress on you, Katie. It looks really nice. So do let us know down below, are you someone who sends cards like this then? Because I saw about this, like Americans sending cards on yeah. films. And I do think it is something that has started happening over here in the UK. You know, well, we put our own Christmas card in the British candy boxes at Christmas. Yeah, but that's because- No, I know. But I mean, I feel like people, more people because of films and everything, in England, people are sending Maybe that's normalised it. Whereas I think British people are a lot more reserved, so they yeah. wouldn't put their own face on, on the card. front of the card. Yeah. yeah. Pearl and Jax are the cutest. They're so lovely. I love they've got a big bubba and a little bubba. I know. Look at how, I wonder um, how well blue they get Pearl's on. eyes are. Whoa. Never seen a dog with blue she eyes. She should be called Bluey. Dear Kate and Alex, my name is Katie and I live in Raleigh. NC. North Carolina. I came across your channel at the beginning of quarantine in the spring and I have not missed a video and have gone back like two years in videos. Oh my God. Do you know what? That's sometimes scary. Really? Why? <laughs> Just like, I feel like in two years you do change oh, a lot. Change a lot, And yeah. I think, have I said something really stupid that now yeah, every present week. me <laughs> <laughs> now present me would literally be like, what an idiot. Yeah, what an idiot. I've been working on this list slash box literally since the moment I watched the oh. first video. It has brought me so much joy to put together. I love snacks and grocery shopping and cooking. If you ever come to North Carolina, I would love to show you all the good eats and drinks. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Katie. Yeah, well, hopefully we can soon. I know, it'll be so good. I have included one of our Christmas cards from this year me, my boyfriend, and our dogs, Pearl and Jack. Also included another photo of Pearl and me. I uh, thought that was Pearl. I'm sorry, it's but- It's gotta be, isn't it's it? It's gotta yeah. be. Oh, maybe. The pearl of her heart. I think Katie's earrings are bringing out Pearl's eyes. <laughs> Pearl's eyes, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so lovely. Pearl is a pomapoo, a Pomeranian poodle. A poodle. Oh, and lamb chops are her favourite toy. She asked me to include one in the box to share with Bob and Penny. That's cute. She's got Pearl's toy. Oh. Oh, well, obviously, I need one for Bob and Penny. Oh, lamb chops. Is this oh, lamb chops? Oh, that is chop? so cute. Oh. Look how fluffy it is. It's oh. so soft, isn't it? So soft. I was just that wondering is. if it, like Marco. <laughs> <laughs> There's you a smell squeaker. like Katie. Oh, that and that's Pearl's favourite. That's so Now sweet. we'll have a bit of Pearl and Jax and yeah, Katie. We won't show them yet, but we'll no. get them out. They love toys. And I do think this will go down uh, better than some of the treats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, They're they love a squeaky playful, toy, don't they? they? Yeah. I apologise if this box seems a little salty slash savoury heavy. I tend to gravitate more towards those goods. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. And don't apologise. That's what we love so much, isn't it? Getting to see what each individual person, yeah. because that always influences what they pick. And it is interesting that some people really do mm. send more savoury things Yeah, and than some sweet. people send like all sweets. Yeah. Even though you say there's not much sweet in here, this is a whole entire box of sweets. Worth of sweet, um, yeah. So, right. Right, shall we crack on and yes, I can let's. talk us through uh, any bits that Katie says as we go. I wish you both such a happy and prosperous 2021 and please keep doing what you are doing. It brings such joy to so many homes around the world. Love you both, Katie and Pearl. That is so nice, isn't yeah. it? And so lovely of you so to nice say to that. Hear. Where do you want to start, Al? 
tough call, isn't it? I know. Well, let's start with the little bites then. They look kind of yummy, don't they? What a little... Oh, yes, yes. Oh, and these are um, Entermans. And we have tried some of these before. The first people to ever send us these were Hayley and Nathan. Yeah. Katie says, these mini chocolate chip muffins are always available in my family's home. My niece and nephew call these muffin mans. Oh, Do you know the, the muffin, muffin man? man? The muffin man! The muffin man! He lives down Drury Lane. Ooh. Mm, they look nice. I I love these. Well, I don't know about don't these. Know ones, yet, but do you? I love the en oh, Entenmann's. Yeah, didn't, weren't there some like donut bits or something from Entenmann's that was so good? It was something like oh, little maybe. cakey bites. Yeah, or they something. were muffin. They're, they're, they're often. But they muffins, weren't like this, were they? they? Yeah, I don't remember them looking like this. Mm. Like, that actually looks like a muffin. Nice, what nice. they do really well is they're really moist. Mm. What are you doing that face? I'm just so sad. There's only four in there. <laughs> oh, no. They're There's tiny. only two left. Mm. They're so good, though. They don't taste dry at all. I think these all. are better than mm. the hostess mm. ones. Mm. I really like those. They're amazing. Mm. I'm. What are you giving that? I'm going to give them a 10 out of 10. Yeah. I love the little chocolatey chips. I would love that with a cup of tea the or coffee. The chips are really delicious. Mm. I really like them. That tastes like I've just sat down at a cafe yeah. with a fresh muffin. <laughs> a little muffin, yeah. That's so good. I just wish there were more than four in there. I know. <laughs> As we've got our tea, yeah. should we try these stuffed puffs? Yeah, what are they? Okay, so basically, it's a marshmallow, but inside it's filled with chocolate. That's cool. And I think the idea is, if you wanted to do s'mores, all you need is the graham cracker. Oh, the so chocolate's you, already in there. Yeah, so you either roast it, toast it, bake it, melt it, or just snack on it. So should we just try yeah. one not uh, melted? Oh, I'm having a whole one to myself. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is hard. That Ooh. is much bigger than I was expecting. I can feel the solid block yeah. of chocolate in there. Um, I hope the chocolate's good. Whoa. Mm. Chocolate's not the best, but it's is not it bad, actually. Is it chocolate or is it like truffley? I wonder if they do it because they know they need to melt mm. quicker. It's not bad, actually, though. Mm. Shall I put one in the microwave? Yeah. Can't maybe on a plate. Ooh, wow, what an experience. Because maybe if you are toasting it more, the outside on a marshmallow crisps, doesn't it? Mm. And the heat probably still gets in. Keeps whereas in, it. in a microwave, it just nukes the outside, well, doesn't it? Well, this is why I think it's not a solid block of chocolate. I really think it is like a truffley because yeah. even though it's not melted, it's kind of broken up. It like melts in there. I was so excited when I saw these in the box, but I was really worried the chocolate was gonna be rubbish. It's good. I actually, really isn't like it? this chocolate. It's giving mm. me aero vibe. Like um I probably wouldn't sit down and eat a bar of it. No, but, but mixed with this mm. and even with like a graham cracker, that'd be delicious. Very what good. a good idea. That's so much better than I was expecting. Really good. And the marshmallow's nice. Also, when it said melt it, I was picturing it in the microwave. Oh, and you a put hot it chocolate. on a hot chocolate, that'd be excellent. I think because of the chocolate, I really was looking forward to it, but not thinking it was gonna be that good. That beats my expectations. Yeah. That was delicious. I kind of thought they might be gimmicky, but actually yeah, they're really good. Really good. I wonder if they do any other flavours, like mm. white chocolate, or if any other brands have kind of taken them on and, you know, tried to do it themselves. Yeah. Very good. What are you giving those? I'm going to have to give them a 10 out of I'm 10. Giving, I, I wasn't sure you were going to give 10 out of 10. <laughs> I, I was I like, like, oh, should I? It's a bit, but no, they are good. 10 out of 10. They are so good. So good. If you see them in the store, definitely get them. What would you like to do next? Should we try the Fruity Pebbles? Yes. So what we know of Fruity Pebbles is it's a cereal. Yeah. But this isn't, I thought it was a bag of cereal. What is it? It's brand new Fruity Pebble Crisps. Well, that's cool. So you don't put this in. Oh, they're crisp bowl. rice snacks. These are like a snack version of the cereal. Cereal. Yeah, it's like um, the cereal made into a snack, but it's like uh, rice snacks. Yeah. Fruity Pebbles had their 50th anniversary this year, so they were coming out with all sorts of new fun stuff, well, cool. including coffee creamer. A coffee creamer Fruity Pebbles. These oh crisps are like little rice cakes, so good. You can get Cocoa Pebbles as well. Did oh, you wow. know that? No, I didn't. That's really cool. I love the bag. I feel Massive, like there's not many in there compared to this. Oh, oh wow. They're like flat discs. Because it said rice snack, I was picturing, you know, like the Quaker Oats and our yeah. um, Snacker Jacks. I was picturing like the thick ones that like babies like yeah. to munch on. Well, it's hard to tell on here. They look kind of chunky, but yeah. actually you can tell now, you know, they're flat. Right, let's have a go. Wow. Fruity pebs. That's fun. Like a rainbow. <laughs> Really sweet, aren't they? These are just like the cereal from what I can remember. Do you know what this reminds me of? I don't know, no. Tell me. When we used to go on holiday, 
yeah. and stay um, in hotels in America, I used to really always want the Fruit Loops and like the Fruity Pebbles oh, yeah. and they'd be in that twisting. Twisty thing. And every holiday I'd be like, oh, I can't wait to have some of those. But I realized I was never like a sw one of those cereal lovers. I preferred more of like the Oreo ones and things like yeah. that. So this really reminds me of those holidays. And I think I prefer it as this. Than the, snack, cereal, than yeah. the cereal, yeah. Mm, the more it's you like eat, the more munchy. It's like an acquired taste. Oh, yeah. I really like the crunch, but the flavour is very like pungent at first, mm. and it goes away quite quickly. And I can't tell what the fruit is. It's just kind of fruity. Well, I'm just getting so much like lemon. Mm. It's like citrus punch, isn't it? No lemon. I feel like. Fruity Pebbles and Fruit Loops are so loved in America, so yeah. these must have gone down so yeah. well. Let us know down below, are you team Fruity Pebbles or Fruit Loops? Oh wow, I just got a really thin one with so much flavour. Mm. I'm gonna give them like a seven. They wouldn't be my go-to snack. Do you know what, I would probably give them a seven. I really, really enjoyed them, but they're getting a seven because I probably wouldn't pick those yeah. again. But they're so nice and so different. Can I pick next? Yeah. I have been eyeing up these snack packs since the day this box <laughs> arrived and I've had to wait a long you time. You said that about everything so far, haven't you? But, but look at that! Like, what hello! Is it? Okay. I can't tell. Is it jelly I or is it a drink? I think it's jelly. Look, want Fanta? Snack pack Fanta pineapple. Juicy gels. This is exciting. And it's pineapple. We don't get Fanta pineapple here. Does that mean they get Fanta pineapple in America? Must be able to. Oh, there. Don't you think that looks quite retro? Yeah, I love that style on top. So Katie says, I'm not big on jello. I think it is a texture thing, but I thought this would be fun for you all to try if you never have. Did she say you all or your? She said you all, actually. She said y'all. Oh, the smell's amazing. Is this good? Yeah, really good. You've not left me much, have you? you? Have the rest of <laughs> <laughs> That's my first scoop. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you talk so much. <laughs> I'm just laughing because like this, you weren't looking that excited about. Oh, no. well, I'm just keeping it on the lowdown. That's delicious. That's a really good texture. It's quite thick. Mm, not like a real loose jelly, is it? No. Oh. It's like a cross between jelly and pudding. Almost. Yeah. At first, I'm not sure it was pineapple, mm. but it gets more pineapple. It than is, that. but it's not like punch you in the it's face not, pineapple. Yeah. But that is a right old treat. That's a right. I'm getting my tongue in there. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got one, two, three, four, five remaining. Yeah. Right, what are you giving that? I'm gonna give that a nine out of ten. I'm gonna give that a ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed uh. that. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you they're for kids. No one's telling you they're oh. for kids. Well, just because it says snack pack on them. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many adults take them to work. Yeah. Surely not. Probably <gasps> pretend they're buying them for the kids and then just eat them themselves. Do you know what you could do? There was enough room there to just like have a really small scoop of ice cream on yeah. there. Or a little bit of whippy cream. Oh yeah, <laughs> whippy cream. <laughs> cool whip. Cool whip, cool whip bro. Okay, as we've still got our spoons out, yeah. should we try this? Organic yeah. apple fruit sauce. I hear about, um, do you want some apple sauce? Oh no, excuse my accent. So many Americans I watch love apple sauce. Yeah. Is it just like apple puree? Yeah, I don't, it must be. But like kids, adults, I used to watch like the Shaytards and they used to get just like apple sauce yeah. and they'd be eating apple sauce. When you say apple sauce, it makes you, me think you're gonna put it with say like pork or something. What's yeah. that sauce you get with? You have apple, apple sauce. Apple sauce. Yeah. But what I think this actually is, is like- It's like a fruit pouch. Yeah, fruit puree. But yeah. they call it sauce. And this is from Trader Joe's. <laughs> yeah, that's- Pretty much what it is. Oh wow, look at that. That's really nice. Yum. Little squirt more, yeah. please. Those fruit pouches are good, aren't mm. they? I love them. There's just something so good about the way they taste. I think it's because it's like a puree. Yeah. Mm. And it's an organic apple. Oh, it's a red apple. I could kind of taste that, couldn't you? Yeah. It wasn't like overly sweet. It was no. very natural tasting. Trader Joe's is my go-to for all novelty and fun food items. I go at least once a week. Oh, jealous. <laughs> <laughs> These sodas look absolutely delicious. We've got lemon elderflower soda. And rhubarb and strawberry soda. And I love these little cans. These are giving me pret a manger vibes. I know they're mm, not the same branding, yeah. but there's one there that's like apple and yeah. elderflower. It's a good job I don't live in America because I'm a sucker 
for all these kind of things. I'm like Katie. You would I be would a Trader be Joe's. And just like finding what the new things mm-hmm. are and just wanting to try them. Well, hence why we have a YouTube channel like this. I mean, <laughs> it's not, it's kind of obvious, yeah. isn't it? Right, I've got the rhubarb and strawberry soda. That sounds like such a nice combination. Yeah. Tart rhubarb, sweet strawberry, a fizzy, perfectly sweet and refreshing soda, not from concentrate. Tart lemon and fragrant elderflower, a fizzy, perfectly sweet and refreshing soda. Didn't have to do much word changing, did no. they? I love the muted colour tones. Mm. What one do you think you'll prefer? I think possibly rhubarb and strawberry. I'm thinking Cheers. I might prefer lemon elderflower. Mm, nice. Mm. Tart. The strawberry mm. in this is very... Strawberry. No, quite relaxed. There's a lot of rhubarb coming mm. through and I'm really enjoying That's it. That's why I wasn't, because I like rhubarb, but sometimes it's not my favourite. Whoa, That's lots nice. of rhubarb. Mm. Do you know what they're reminding me of? What? They're reminding me of like um, those pear drops, you know, the sweets. Yeah. Or is it rhubarb and custard sweets? Mm. <laughs> Maybe because it's got rhubarb in. Really reminding me that. of that. Yeah, what's this? It's lemon lemon elderflower. Yeah. I'm not, are you getting much elderflower? No, but elderflower is very subtle, isn't it? Yeah. They've gone, I it's kinda more wish lemon. I, there was more. Yeah, I wish there was more. I absolutely love elderflower. I think I've told this story before, mm. but I used to teach an adult tap class and um, one of the adults, she lived on in this amazing house that was from like the 1500s. Mm. And um, she has this amazing elderflower tree or bush, do you call it, in yeah. her land. Bush, I think. And um, she makes her own elderflower cordial. Yeah. And one year, year she learned that I loved it so much that she bought me a bottle. No way. And it was absolutely amazing. You That's mix sweet. it with like fizzy water yeah. or still water. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. You don't drink a lot of alcohol. No. But your go-to is a, yeah, a I gin love, fizz, isn't I it? I love, yeah, with elderflower. Which in. is elderflower and basically a G&T, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like a gin and tonic with elderflower yeah. in it. I feel like with these, they're going more down those like seltzer roots. Not yeah. seltzer, what's it called where it's like fizzy water with a bit of flavour? Yeah, like a LaCroix type thing. Yeah, so they're nice or for... Lacroix. 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 I feel like they're nice for adults, whereas mm. a kid's not going to think they're sweet enough. And I kind of fall in the kid category. Well, speaking of Pepsi. And speaking of Pepsi. <laughs> oh. Did you know what a coincidence. that Pepsi was um, made in Carolina? No. Yeah. Was that why Katie sent it to us? Yeah. Did you know the bottle is actually blue on this? Oh, yeah. So we're, we're trying cheer wine. Is that cheer wine? Cheer wine. Cheer wine. And Pepsi, both born in North Carolina. Really? I did not know that. And let me just tell you now, Pepsi Max, I mm. think, has become my favorite drink in the whole entire world. Very nice. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I know during lockdown, a lot of people have drunk a lot more wine and yeah. beer, things yeah. like that. I've drunk a lot more Pepsi Max. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a good job it wasn't beer or yeah. wine because it's an unhealthy amount of Pepsi yeah. Max. No, I haven't had that much. <laughs> I've been really wild over lockdown. Yeah. And I've been drinking a lot of water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of water. And it's all still. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm team Pepsi Max over Pepsi. I did not do that because of like saving calories. I just prefer the Max flavour. Mm. Did you move to Pepsi because of that advert Kendall did with... <laughs> No. Where there was like a riot. No. She She's still in, getting backlash about like, that. Right, so should we give this a try? Yeah, I've never tried Pepsi. I just thought yeah. we'll give it a go. Although I wonder also, if it I tastes it'd be different nice to try next from to this. the sauce. This is like from the Pepsi tap in Carolina, Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. I just want to thank North Carolina for creating Pepsi, and I'm I'm guessing also Pepsi Max created Pepsi mm. Max. Yeah. I do prefer I Pepsi Max, and but that the same is name. delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it is because it's Pepsi Max. It's the maximum flavor with zero calories. Yeah, this that's isn't it. a brand deal. But this kind of tastes a bit weak to me. Like, it doesn't that, have as that's much. That's what's so crazy is that is the one that's got more sugars, apparently. And I don't think it's um, as fizzy. It's quite. No, yeah. Quite still. Whereas I when know. I've had a drink of your Pepsi it's Max. It's really fizzy. It's really like. 
I actually found the Pepsi Max tasting more like kind of sweet and that, yeah. but maybe that's why people don't like it because sometimes when it's no sugar, they kind of yeah. put different things that people yeah. don't like. I also think sodas can really change depending on if it's in a bottle or in a can yeah. or in a fountain. Can is better. Yeah, but Which I is... love a fountain from Weatherspoons. Yeah. Shall we try this cheer, cheer wine? wine? Let's have a look I've what heard, we are. I feel like there's a thing called cherry wine, but I've never heard hmm. of cheer wine. It doesn't say what it is. It just says soft drink since 1917. Do you it is going to be cherry flavoured? I don't know. I automatically think cherry, it but... It looks a bit red in there. Does it actually say cherry at all? It just says cheer like wine. Dr Pepper? Oh, I think you hit the nail on the head. It's kind of like cherry, but Dr Pepper. Oh, look, it's a lot more red than I thought it was going to be. Look at the colour. Wow, that looks nice. Cheers. Cheers. Just like Dr Pepper or something. I actually don't Ooh. hate that though. That's quite nice, isn't it? I think that's nicer than Dr Pepper. Mm. It's really mellow. It's, it's like less in your face. Mm, that's lovely. Mm. That is really good. Red 40. Thought that oh, was. Good. Why put it in? Like just leave it out. It doesn't matter what colour it is. Did you want some more? Sorry. I'd have well, a you're getting more. more. I'm having a bit more. Um, this is really good. I really like this. I really like the idea of Dr. Pepper and everything, yeah. but sometimes it's a bit too strong, whereas this is really mellow, but you get more cherry flavour. Do you know what? Is this Dr. Pepper cherry? Yeah, I think so. Do you know what I think I prefer? Mm. I think I prefer this to the Pepsi. I do too. Really? Because it's so different to Pepsi Max. Yeah. That is really good. What are you giving that? I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. I really enjoy that. I'm probably only going to give the Pepsi a 7. Oh yeah, look, it says crafted cherry taste. Ah. Yeah, the Pepsi, Ma Pepsi, I'll just give the seven as well. But the Pepsi Max, that's not here. I'm giving a 10. <laughs> I'm giving a 20. 12. Oh, especially with some ice cubes. Also, just to let you know, any drinks that we have in the videos have been pre-chilled. I think a lot of you worry that we're not getting the full drink experience, but we do chill them. What a strange thing to worry about. It's true though, that f drinks do taste so much better cold. Oh, they and, do. And usually um, we drink with ice as well. We'll mm. finish the rest with ice. Should we try those Kit Kats while we're here? Yes. They look small and fun. We've got two flavours. Oh, there are. There. And um, Oh, they're these Japanese ones? Yes. Since coming across your channel and a few other Japanese vlogs, I have become so fascinated with international snacks. I frequently visit a few Asian groceries in my area and wanted to include two of my recent Japanese Kit Kat flavours. We've got Ocean Salt. It's like a white chocolate. The other one is Frozen Cookies and Cream. She must really like this one because she then sent us one. <laughs> <laughs> She's like... Mm. No, I can't pass. Another no. one. So, how interesting. Yeah. Ocean salt. So, do you reckon it's just going to be like chocolate sea salt, but white chocolate? Yeah. This is going to be like one of those Swedish things that's like super salty. No, that is really good. It's like the wafer salted, mm. not the chocolate. Not the chocolate. That is really good. Do you prefer your white chocolate experience because of the salt? I don't think so. I think it only adds to the sickly sweetness of it. Really? Mm. I don't. I can handle that white chocolate. Mm. So it's with too. a waiver. Mm. Well, I'll be having that second you one. You have that one. I'm going to put it out there and say this is one of my favourite Japanese Kit Kats we've had. Really? That salt in there is so nice. It's like when you've had like salted chips or whatever and like you lick your thumb and there's just a little bit of salt left there. Yeah. That's like what's on there. Just a pinch, but it's delicious. And the, um, the wafer's amazing and that white chocolate's lovely. Yeah. I'm giving that 10. For me, they're just not as good as the banana ones, so. Yeah, I did enjoy the banana one, but I think even that's going out. over the banana. Really? I love that, yeah. That is really good. Wow, wowzers. Should we try this other one that Katie obviously yeah, loves? frozen cookies and cream. Frozen cookies and cream. Oh, is it frozen because it's like freeze dried or something? Or is it gonna have like an ice cream flavor? Oh, didn't think like that. Hmm. Interesting smell. Mm. I think it is like an ice cream, you know. I think you're right. It tastes like ice cream. Mm, the cream is ice cream, not just yeah. cream. I like that. So are you going that number one? Yeah, out of those two. I think they're two of the best we've ever had. Mm. I think I'd still put banana first, but <laughs> it is good. Mm. Really good, isn't the it? The banana was amazing. Yeah. But these two are really good. I think in some ways the frozen cookies and creams above the ocean salt now. They've taken the biscuit, is it? Yeah. <laughs> It's pipped it to the post. <laughs> pipped it to the post, that's very good. Very good. Right, do you want to try these then? Yes, let's. 
Now I know you said they were sunflower buttercups, but I didn't actually realise it's sunflower seed buttercup. Yeah, I couldn't work out as I was reading it what that meant. The butter is made out of sunflower seeds. Rather than peanut butter. Yeah, or So almonds. I'm actually excited about this. Well, this is a new one on me. I've never heard of that. No. And dark chocolate, so they obviously thought it needed mm. to be dark. Yeah. I like the brand though, and how clever it is being in a sunflower in the middles. Yeah, the... that's really cool. I wonder what like colour it is. Practically mm. looks the same. Mm. That's actually really nice. Almost got a um, taste of like tahini. Unless it's not that far off, like sesame seed, sunflower yeah, maybe. seeds. Maybe. Mm. That's that's good with sunflower. Mm. The only thing I would say is I wish it was milk chocolate. The chocolate is quite bitter, isn't it? Mm. But the actual inside of like that sunflower seed butter, bitter, I really I like, like that. Mm. Mm. Do you want that last bit? No, you go for it. Might as well. That's really good. I think I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. Would you rather an almond one? I much prefer an almond one. Peanut. Or a peanut one. So this is number three, but you enjoy you know, like the difference. Justin's. Yeah. I'd much rather have a Justin's than that. I wonder if Justin's that is do good. one. That's I like really that for a bit of variety because, yeah. you know, you don't always want to be want eating peanut, peanut butter, butter or ones. whatever. Especially if you have it like for breakfast or on lunch and nice to have a bit of this. Okay, before we get into like the making things. Sorry, we need to go back a step. Having peanut butter cups for breakfast? No, Who sorry. That? I'm Well, I'm sure lots of people. Especially the more organic ones. Oh, the more organic ones. <laughs> oh, the more organic ones. Especially <laughs> the more organic ones. That makes it all right. But they're, to have they're peanut less butter like cups sugary. for breakfast. Yeah. Don't shame anyone. I'm sure I'm that'll be some anyone. of our followers. I'm just saying. You wish you how? were on that. How? How? I could... You go to the shop, you buy a peanut butter cup, you bring it home, you open it in the morning. I'm just very like, although saying that, I've got very into Nutella. Yeah, you porridge. have lots of Nutella. I'm not a morning eater. So there's only a few items I can think of eating in the morning and peanut butter cups is not one of them because I think they're too rich yeah. at that time in the day. Yeah. My palate needs to like wake up but and smell the if coffee. you put one on top of your hot porridge and let it melt, stir that in a oh, bit, that would be no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. no. Oh, no, no, no. What's the other no, one? No. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. I, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you pretend to not be a TikTok like family. No, but I can't help but hear no, them. No, I know, I know. I know we've tried these before, but it's been a very long time. Should we visit Queen Anne? Yes, hello, For some Queen cordial Anne. cherries. Sorry, I don't recognise Queen Anne. <laughs> I only recognise Queen Elizabeth. She is the only true heir to the throne. Are you quoting something? Or? No, that's real life. Now, these... I don't know if they are, but like oh, the fact that they're that. in a tray like oh. that, don't you think they look fancy? Oh, <laughs> got two levels. Two, two levels. That's what I mean. It feels like a box of chocolates. I mean, Katie sent us one frozen cookies Cooked and cream, cream Kit Kat. Yeah, yeah, she sent us a whole, whole box, entire box of Queen Anne. Because you can get smaller boxes. Right, I want to. Well, feel can't that. you get them in like twos? I think so. <laughs> she has a whole box. Thank you, Katie. Yeah, thank you. Because we do love these, don't we? Yeah. The thing is, I love these, but. What I like the most is the, like, the cordial bit. I never eat the actual cherry, oh, sorry. Oh, I forgot. There's fondant mm. and liquid. Are you having the rest of that or not? No, you can have that. You sure? And is there a cherry in there? I don't know, you have to tell me. It right, said, it's so nice. It said they might contain pips. The bit the I glass got. Glacé cherry. Yeah, do you love that? Mm. And I'm sure I would. It's one of those things that I tell myself I don't like. You know, wash it down with this. Yeah. yeah. Cherry heaven. Cherry heaven. We just need a piece of cherry pie now. It's a bit like a cherry cream egg. Yeah. You've got chocolate on the outside, you've got the fondant bit, but instead of the orange gooey bit, you you've get... got cherry and cherry, mm. um, whatever the cherry gel's called. Cordial. Oh, that is so good. So good. I forgot how good they were. Chocolate and sea salt oatmeal. That is a great flavour combination. I know, sea salt. I wasn't sure if y'all had oatmeal packets there, so I wanted to share this flavour because this is so good. Now we do get porridge packets over here, and I'm pretty sure it's the same brand. We don't call ours oatmeal over here, we call it porridge, porridge. for some reason. Porridge. Do you have porridge as well? Well, our porridge oats come from Scotland. Theirs comes from Chicago. <laughs> I doubt that's where. No, not the that's where the yolks And come did from. you know yeah. that there's the line? Uh, this is where you fill it up to. Yeah. And What's it's that like one? it says it on the back. And someone on TikTok the other week was like, "Did you know that you pour it into there?" It's like, oh yes. So many people like in the comments and things on these stupid like food things. It's like 
I know because I read the back of my yeah. food and it made me realize that so many times I just get food and I just eat <laughs> yeah. and I read the packet of something recently I was like oh my word <laughs> so I know it said cocoa and sea salt yeah but for some reason I was just picturing it's going to be kind of like what it normally looks like with chips yeah but it's full on oh, it's chocolatey. Full on chocolate. Now I know everyone likes their porridge differently. I know for me, I I do just less milk because I like it when it's thicker. Mm, don't and want sometimes it too I like it when you let it sit for a bit and it goes really quite like yeah. starchy. Is it? Mm. Is that the right word I'm looking for? Like Possibly, yeah. stodgy maybe. Stodgy. And I like getting really thick bits. This is a bit like um, what my Nutella porridge sometimes yeah. comes out looking like. It smells good. It does smell good. Hot. Definitely salty. Mmm. It's salty. It smells like cocoa powder, doesn't it? Yeah, it's salty. I like that. What I really like about Quaker oats mm. in a bag is that often you you like find pockets of goodness. Pockets of the flavour. Like sometimes, yeah, like the sugar really sits Been in trapped, one side, yeah. yeah. How chocolatey is this compared to when you do plain oats and put a teaspoon of Nutella in? Not as chocolatey. As this. Mm. So this is more chocolatey. Oh no, sorry, other way around. Nutella's more chocolatey. Mm. True. Because the Nutella's just so rich. Mm. Whereas this is like kind of mixed in. I don't think this is that chocolatey. The Nutella is like chocolate. Whereas to me, I think this is chocolatey. Mm. That's probably because you got used to the Nutella. Mm. This is really nice. I like the salt in there. I've got used to it now. Whereas when I had my first bite, it tasted really salty. Mm. You might have also got a really salty mm. bit. I think I'm more of a fruity one. I've said in the videos before, I got like the peaches and cream, the blueberries and cream, the banana and cream. I preferred those, I think. Mm, I very think, good though. I think I prefer to do my own plain Chocolate. oats with Nutella. But if you're in a rush, this is perfect. So what are you giving that then? I'm gonna give that a eight out of 10. Mm. With my Nutella porridge being 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give that eight and a half out of 10. Yeah, I really good, like that. I am so excited and I really hope these don't disappoint. Aunt Jemima pancake on the go. What an amazing idea. Just add water. Also, can I just say this tip on the back is hilarious. Oh. Tip for an optimal eating experience, enjoy with a fork. <laughs> What, oh, instead sorry. of a food? Instead of a, did I say instead a food? food? In, what, instead of a spoon? No, I think they mean instead of just like that. We're just tipping it out. <laughs> so this is chocolate chip pancake. And, and this that? is buttermilk maple flavour. Oh, that sounds heaven. so good, doesn't it? So. Do we get anything like this? Well, we now get things like this, but I don't think it, I've ever seen a pancake one. No, I've seen like the mug the cakes. Day. Oh. This is owned by Quaker Oats. No way. Yeah. Now these say mix with water. Yeah, scrape so sides and bottom of cup. add water to fill line. Friday ho. Oh, wow. Now I Ooh, was- that really smells like pancake. Yeah, it? I was unsure how it was gonna be pancake yeah. compared to like cakey. But if you like feel it, it kind of does feel a bit pancake-y. It's pancake not pancake shape, but it definitely is pancake consistency, so isn't it? Oh yeah, for optimal. It kind of does look ready though. Spongy. Spongy. Mm. Mm. It was a bit of a funny taste there, but At I think that's the buttermilk. At first it really dry. <laughs> oh yeah, that's really buttermilk. Mm. Mm. Buttermilk is a little bit yeah. like sour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I wasn't sure how they would do the maple, but can you see there's little like bits in there? Mm. And I think they melt. Mm. I really like that one. This tastes like a pancake. What do you think to that? Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? I think this tastes more like a pancake than that. Mm. It's a bit spongy, like a... Mug cake. Mug cake, yeah. This, I much prefer this one. Mm. This is giving me more a pancake vibe. Mm. Like a, and you know when you go to Denny's and you get that like weird butter on it? This here just tastes like a cake. Mm. This, and that's what I was expecting from both of them. I wasn't expecting anything to taste like this a pancake. This just tastes a bit like sponge with chocolate chips in, but because this is buttermilk, and maple syrup, it's got it really tastes like, pancake. like a pancake vibe. That is like the inside of like a really spongy American yeah. pancake, isn't it? It's Th just you that haven't got the outside. That was literally what I was about to say. That, if you look, if you take off the top and bottom yeah. of a Denny's pancake, yeah. that's what it looks like in between. They really hit the nail on the head here. This mm. really tastes like a pancake. And I'm really enjoying this. This one, not so much, but mm. I think it's also the chips. I this wonder what so this good. is equivalent to stack wise. Is this a three yeah. stack or a two stack? <laughs> or one. Just a one stack? Oh, one isn't a stack, is it? Mm. Mm. I like that. Yeah, this one's growing on me a lot. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. The aftertaste is literally a pancake. Mm. That's really good. I right, feel like I'm in America. Yourself. You're hanging you tight. That. No, you finish it. You're in America, you've been to IHOP, and then you head into the beach to do some surfing. Set the debate down below. Team IHOP or Team Denny's? What are you? Of all the experiences I've had, Denny's has always been better, I think. I think Denny's for us just carries more memories as mm. well. Well, like so I think, up. don't Denny's have like a bigger selection than IHOP? I think so. IHOP's like a lot more just pancakes. It amazes me every time we go in how big the menu is. <laughs> mm. <laughs> how many options. Because and... we've had been and had like crazy things like the lumberjack, oh, you know, the lumberjack pancake stack or what whatever it's called. Get. But then we've also been in and just had soup before. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. I'm really glad we ended on those actually. Yeah, they were really good, weren't they? And I would say if we didn't have the buttermilk and maple one, it probably would have been a bit disappointing. But because we had that buttermilk and maple yeah. one, it was really good. Made that it. tasted like a pancake. Yeah, definitely. And we have had the Aunt Jemima maple syrup before, haven't we? Yeah. And I remember really liking that as well. But oh, that was absolutely delicious. Katie, thank you so much for part one of your epic box. That was absolutely delicious. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> How am I forgetting? <laughs> <laughs> Do it this I, week. I keep forgetting. Yeah. I'm literally 10 second Tim these days. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I'm like, I'll go upstairs and be like, what on earth did I come get up yeah. here? Or like, mum will say, oh, can you, can or you get this for me? you just be like doing a candy video and you forget about treat of the week. I know. How could you forget? Do you want right. to go again? What is your treat of the week? Okay. Why, was your choreo not good? No, I was like really straight arms like that. <laughs> <laughs> we can go again. Five, six, seven, eight. Our arms like cross over. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna say my cheap. Oh, there's so many. I think I might have to say these. I was gonna say that as well. Did you think I'd yeah. forgotten about them? No. I saw you looking at them. I just thought you were gonna go for, say, like the Fanta. I was pineapple. going to, but then I kind of thought, like, jelly is jelly, yeah. and this is amazing. Although the Aunt Jemima's buttermilk pancake was really Kit good. Kat. Oh, yeah, I did love that. But these are just amazing. I, it was a really good box. Even those marshmallows I loved. Yeah, those what about you? What's great. your treat of the week? My treat of the week is those little bites. Yeah. They're so good. Although I do I love the Queen Ants. I almost went for the Queen Ants. And the marshmallows are good. <laughs> and. I mean, it's just apple puree, but this is so good. I really didn't realize, obviously I knew I love this box, yeah. but sometimes it's really easy to pick a treat of the week. Whereas yeah. this week, I kind of feel like would happily pick the Fanta, Little Bites, yeah. happily pick that. Well, it was so a much really good, good box. box. Katie, you really know how to put a box together. Mm. That was absolutely delicious. And only part one, thank you so much for your amazing box. Yeah. We did send Katie a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's the best way for you guys to support this channel other than subscribing. But we hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.